Good afternoon, Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. Just over 117,000 vehicles passed through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel this weekend, Friday through Sunday. That's down 5.5% from last weekend, making this the slowest weekend on I-70 since mid-December. But it was the busiest for this time of year in two years. In 2020, this second weekend of April was the slowest in decades. Fewer than 30,000 cars in three days. After three decades here in Summit, Breckenridge Grand Vacations is breaking ground in the Vale Valley. BGV executive Mike Dudick. So we're kind of taking our building model from Breck and applying it in Avon, but with a different product, a whole ownership product versus a fractional product. That project is known as Front Gate at the east entrance to Beaver Creek, where the original developer never got past digging foundation. We felt like it was close enough to what we're really good at um, to try and dip our toe in the water of a in a new market with a slightly different product than what we're used to selling. BGV now owns the land and the right to manage it. Plans call for 84 condos plus workforce housing. Those are things that are required by the government to get done, but those are things that BGV does anyway. First phase there is almost sold out for move-in by late 2023. Closer to home, BGV is moving forward with its next big local project at the base of the gondola. We will break ground next summer on the first phase, which will be parking and some residential, and we will start going vertical next year on that project. Dudick also hinted at future solutions for parking in Breck, if other partners play ball. If the town and the ski resort, with our cooperation, work together, we can make some significant headways um, and reduce the number of vehicles in the core of town. He did not go into detail. The gondola project started and stalled for years, hung up in planning commission and council chambers. The native Ute tribe is about to be honored in Northern Summit. A state board has selected New Chew Creek to replace Squaw Creek, a tributary draining into the Blue River in the Eagles Nest Wilderness. New Chew is what the Ute people call themselves. It's also the name that summit officials want for the Gore Range. Breckenridge founding father Trig V. Berge is inviting the whole county to his 90th birthday bash today. Stop by the Riverwalk Center now until 7 o'clock for cake, tributes, drinks, and a whole lot of love for the Norwegian Olympian with the timeless smile and style. Crystal 93 is your 2021 Media Market Station of the Year. Colorado Broadcasters Association honored your hometown station for a second year running at the annual CBA Awards ceremony in Denver this weekend. We were up against stations in Aspen, Sterling, Montrose, and more. Crystal owner Roger Ogden took home the Rex Howell Broadcaster of the Year Award, given to just one person in radio or TV, honoring their leadership, skill, and dedication. In sports, the Rockies are playing the Rangers right now in Texas. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos at their new location in Breckenridge. All Summit High sports are off today. They'll be back tomorrow with baseball, girls soccer, and girls lacrosse, all pending weather. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.